Uh, should we get a little more? A little more. So this is still a very, a very thin slice of the ocean surface using a 10 centimeter wide net for six hours. Now six hours times six knots, so 36 nautical miles by 10 centimeters. It's really a small area of the ocean. Yeah. And to find you know, little bits of plastic, a little plastic fleck right there. There's a big piece of plastic film. Here's some fishing line. So to find that much plastic in a thin slice of the ocean, you multiply that by, I would say, billions of times that area of the world's ocean. It amounts to mountains of trash. Wir haben gerade unsere erste Probe aus dem Meer rausgeholt und schauen jetzt mal, was wir genau dabei finden. So taken so far a few large pieces out. Mm -hmm. Big bits of film. Some, I mean, you can recognize some things sometimes. Even you'll see dates or the product name. Yeah. But typically it's fragments that the, you know, the, the paints, the, the paints come off. This is some kind of wrapping here. Maybe yeah. it held some single serving of a piece of gum. Exactly. Or a cracker or some coffee. You know, who knows at this point. I mean, it's so hard to solve the problem by focusing on what's happening way out in the oceans. But near shore, and this is a near shore sample, um, you, can, you can identify some of the products sometimes. Okay. I really can't tell you where it came from, All right. which country, or which company. And that is the, I think that's the, the real problem of trying to solve the problem by going out in the ocean. Because when you're out there, you can't assign your problem to anyone or yeah, any sure, country. Yeah. It's yeah. it's a tragedy of the commons. We all have this problem, but there's no someone, one. Yeah. Exactly. But going closer to shore, we can. Like, if we were closer to shore, like at a river, river mouth, or right near the beach, we might find some macroplastic that might say the product's name. Exactly. And there are some cities that do that now. They'll do what's called waste characterization, mm -hmm. where you monitor your rivers and see, okay, what is the most typical kind of waste? Is it fast food packaging? Yeah. Are they microbeads from facial scrubs? Yeah. Are they straws or what they are? And that gives you a way to sort of control the, the loss of plastics from your community, your city, your country, by knowing what your output is. Yeah, but it's interesting to know because I think many people have the feeling that, yeah, the plastic will survive anyway forever and you can just fish it out. But uh, it's not like that, as you mentioned. It does. It's very quickly, you know, fragmenting and dispersing. Um, uh, that's an interesting question you bring up, though, about the, about the fate. You know, where's it all going? Is it staying in one piece and forever going around the gyres? Yeah. And the answer is, I mean, very clearly is no. We did our, our global assessment. We estimate there's 270,000 metric tons. That's less than 0.2% of 2012's annual production of plastics, according to Plastics Europe. Yeah. That's just I mean, 0.2% of one year. That's, that's nothing. Yeah, so that tells us it's not on the ocean surface. It's going somewhere. Yeah, okay. A lot washed the shore, a lot will go back on the beach. Like rivers are pushing out plastics, a lot will wash back up on the beach. What does make it out to sea, what does get to the gyres, is breaking down along the way. If the sunlight makes it just makes it uh, uh, very brittle, yeah. waves will crush it, some will oxidize, some will become a, a, a habitat for marine life that makes it very heavy, and it'll sink. Mm -hmm. So we, we're finding microplastics on the sea floor, on ice cores, ice shelves. Microplastics are, are everywhere. Es ist schon erstaunlich, wenn man sich überlegt, dass unser Messgerät nur eine 10 cm Öffnung hat und mit dieser 10 cm Öffnung durchkämmen wir die Oberfläche des Ozeans und schon nach wenigen Stunden haben wir schon so viel Plastik eigentlich in unserem Sample. Wenn wir jetzt das, was wir jetzt hier gefischt haben, eigentlich hochrechnen würden, dann werden wir Unmengen von Plastik eigentlich finden.